What's going on guys? Professor Chaos here. And in the background we have a game called Anomaly Warzone Earth. It's a pretty interesting game on Steam. I got it in a bundle, but um, it turned out to be pretty freaking awesome, so I would show some. thought I'd show some gameplay from it. Like I said, these PK Sundays are going to be just random gameplay. It's not necessarily going to be all Minecraft or all Call of Duty or whatever. It's going to be just random games, so um, just kind of little feature um, of different games. And you guys can ask for more of the different games that I play. Um, so like I said, this one's Warzone Anomaly Earth, and, or Anomaly Warzone Earth, something like that. <laughs> um, it's kind of an interesting concept of a game, I'll get to my little story in a second, um, give you some background on this game. Um, it's, if you've ever played a tower defense game, um, it's, so a tower defense, you have a maze of some sort with um, spots you can place towers on the sides so that you defend from the incoming inv invasion of some sort of creature. Um, you can play tower defense on all sorts of games like StarCraft. Me and my friend love to play it on StarCraft. And as well as there's actual like tower defense games, I've got a lot on my iPhone that I like to play. Um, but this one, I think the anomaly part of the title kind of hints to this, um, instead of placing towers to defend from a certain line of um, invading things, you are instead the invading army, um, and the aliens have these towers. Um, so right now I am that little guy, I'm um, patrolling, I pick up little things and stuff, and then I have these special abilities, like that one right now is a smoke screen, so that that tower couldn't quite figure out where the like sometimes they'll hit them in the circle but sometimes not that one is a decoy so when I place that the towers nearest will attack that decoy instead of my um, uh, tanks right there and so that's kind of the basis of the game you're trying to get to a certain point and you're trying to kill all the towers along the way as well as you get if you see on the right hand side those weird like pyramid things that are glowing um, you, oh yes, also you figure out what path you want to take, it's not always one set path. Um, so right now I'm trying to figure out the path I can take to get the most of these little triangle things that get, that equal money. Um, which will get me upgrades and more tanks and stuff, like there's an anti-air one I'll get later. But, this is PK Sunday, so I thought I'd share a story. First, um... Someone asked in the last video, also I do take questions, so feel free to leave questions in these videos, and I'll try to address them in future PK Sundays, but um, this one, uh, someone asked where Professor Chaos come from, came from, come from, whatever, um, it is actually from South Park, <laughs> I, me and my friends love watching South Park, and um, it, let's see, what, what's his name? Um, Butters, I think. Uh, <laughs> it's been a while since I've watched the episode. But Butters, one of the characters in the show, um, decides to become a... Instead of a superhero, he's like the anti-hero. He's a super villain. He becomes Professor Chaos. Um, bent to de um, destroy the world and um, bring chaos to it. Um, and he does all sorts of funny little things trying to create chaos. Um, he also has a sidekick, General Disarray, so I also have an account um, I'll sometimes use called Disarray, Disharray, <laughs> and um, I think their final little act of defiance to create chaos, they're going to flood the earth, so they turn um, the hose, like the garden hose on, and leave it on. <gasps> it's going to flood the world! <laughs> so they're, um, they're trying to flood the world with the garden hose. Pretty hilarious. Um... <laughs> So that's where my name came from. I, I, uh, I, my first one was Brandon's apple, you know, like Adam's apple, but I, my name's Brandon, so it's Brandon's apple. <laughs> Can you imagine if that was my channel, Brandon's apple? Um, would you still watch me if I st <laughs> had that name? Um, but, uh, yeah, so I've, I had that name, and then I was like, ah, I need something more serious. So we came up with, um, Professor Chaos, so I tried it, and it was taken. 
darn it. <laughs> so instead of putting stupid letters or XX in front or behind, I decided to switch up the inside letters. So instead of SS and professor, it's SH. And then Chaos has a K with SH at the end. So Professor Chaos was born. Um, so yeah, that's where my name came from. Um, but I also said that I was going to be talking about um, plaguing. <laughs> yes, B-L-E-G-G-I-N-G. -G -G. Blegging. Um, that term comes from black egging. Um, it's probably not the most legal thing you can do, but when you're in high school and stuff, who cares? <laughs> so me and my friends, a group of, I don't know, seven or eight, um, we would, uh, instead of like playing video games or something, because we're bored, um, we would go out and do all sorts of stuff. One thing is ninjing. Um, I'll explain that in a later episode. Um, but blegging was one as well. Blegging, a friend was like, hey, there's this cool um, thing we can do. Not the most legal, but um, you take a carton of eggs, some string, and then maybe some tape, if unless you're good at tying knots or something, um, and you find a street that's kind of, it has traffic, but it's not super, super busy. Um, since we've got kind of a small town around here, we can usually find a spot. Hello? So we found this three-way street. Um, so one way was a through street, so there weren't stop signs, and then the other one had a stop sign. Um, and so we parked up the side that had the stop sign. And... Um, so that some of us could sit and watch while the others went out and did it, and then we'd take turns doing it. Um, but the act is you find a street with a um, kind of a street lamp or maybe a telephone wire or one of the wires going to the transformer from a house, and then you take your string, you have to lob it over the wire, and then once it's over and you've got it secure, you tie the string or tape the string to your egg and so the egg is hanging and you want to make it hang at about windshield level. This is where the black egging is. Um, it sounds really mean and stuff but it's hilarious when you're doing it. Um, I'm sorry to those people that actually got victimized by it. Um, but uh, you hang it at about windshield height and then take- oh yeah you also need some black spray, spray paint. You take your spray paint and then just douse it in black spray paint so that the usually use like fishing line or black string so that none of it is visible because it's at night time and since that's all always the good time to do pranks is night time um but so you hang your egg windshield tight spray paint it black then run and hide in the bushes or in your car that's parked up the street and then um, wait for another car to come by. And all throughout this, cars are coming by, so you have to like run out, throw the string over, run back in, hide, go back out, r grab the string, um, attach the egg. Oh no, car's coming. So you come back in while holding the egg <laughs> and then go back out, spray paint it, and then run. Um, so it's all pretty intense and hilarious. You get some good moments. Um, but yeah, that's blegging. Hopefully you guys don't try it out because <laughs> it's probably not a good thing and your neighbors will hate you or something. I don't suggest doing it around your house because that's kind of incriminating. But um, I don't really suggest doing it at all. This is a... Uh, I don't suggest it. Wink, wink. Um, yeah, <laughs> that is blegging. Um, it's, it was hilarious in high school and... Um, just one of the things we'd do, uh, when we were bored and we didn't want to play video games or something. Um, but yeah, that's, that's my little story. Um, hopefully that made sense. I don't know, I probably got sidetracked somewhere in there. Um, but yeah, back to this game. Right now it's the epic finale. There's these new towers, they're massive and they do area damage. This one right here. Um, hopefully the audio is on. I had to switch in the middle of this commentary. Um, but... The um, towers, there's mostly these little tiny towers, and they're easily taken care of, but then there's these massive towers. There's, okay, so there's three towers right now that I know of. There's these little tiny ones. They do a fair amount of damage, but they're not too um, intense. And then there's these massive ones right here that do an area, area effect damage, and they do a lot of it. 
So you have to be careful of these guys. And then um, there's also one more tower that can only shoot in one direction, but it does massive damage if you don't um, set up your decoys right. Or And there's also a little repair thing that I can do if you've seen that. So like, I'm about to pick up the repair thing right there. And um, yeah, this game is... It's kind of intense. You, I've never played a game like it. Uh, it's usually tower defense rather than tower attack or something. <laughs> I don't know what genre you'd put this under. Um, but yeah, go check out uh, Anomaly Warzone Earth. Um, or Warzone Anomaly. I can't remember the name now. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's a fun game. It's on Steam. I'll put a link to it in the description. Um, but yeah, feel free to ask questions about me or just games I play and as well as you can be like hey I want to see more of this game and I'll gladly oblige I'll give you like a little tutorial series of the games um, but yeah uh, thanks for watching guys uh, I'll just leave you with the ending part of this and um, <laughs> I'll see you next Sunday Outstanding. Whoever these hostiles are, they picked the wrong platoon to mess with. Stand down and prepare to evacuate. <laughs>